Hi everybody, I'm Nett and I am Manikendra's makeup artist and today we're going to be uh, doing a smoky eye look. It is a look that I have done on her many times as you'll see throughout her other videos. I'm the one who does all of that. So let's jump right into it. Um, first of all, I got a lot of hair. I'm gonna pull this back up because I don't wanna get my makeup in it. All right, so now that we got all of our hair back, we're gonna wanna prime and prepare the face for our foundation. And first, what you'll wanna do, this is what the professionals do, so don't look at, don't look at me if I'm doing this weird. We're gonna wash the face with baby wipes. Any kind of baby wipes will do. Just wanna get off all the dirt and the sweat and the grime and everything from being outside. <laughs> okay, so now that's out of the way, gotta let your face dry. And then we're going to put on some moisturizer. A little bit of Vaseline will help. Just get that about that much. Emulsify it in between your fingers. And just spread it all over your face. You gotta really work this in. Get it over the eyes. Bring it down the neck. It's part of your face too. People see it. All right. You know, I heard uh, Marilyn Monroe used to do this every night. So if she did it and it looks beautiful, why can't we do it? Now, we're gonna do a setting spray. So don't worry about it. Just pick up your favorite setting spray. All right, let that dry, let it soak in. So then the next thing we're gonna do, now I learned this from another makeup artist, um, a professional, is that you want a powder before you put your foundation on. So we're gonna take a little bit of a mattifying powder because you put your moisturize all over, you might look a little shiny. Just take a little bit of mattifying powder and just, you know, pat it on to absorb all the moisture that you put on. So what this does, when you powder before you put your foundation on, it just makes the pores disappear right off your face. Because we don't want pores. Nobody likes what, nobody likes seeing pores on a woman. And then bring it down. Because you want to like, you know, get these lines out. We're going to make those disappear too. If you got some necklines, you know, because when you're asleep, you're like this all the time. At least I am. All right, we did a powder. Don't, don't put that away too, too fast. Now we're gonna use some foundation. This is like top of the line. You can't get it anywhere, so don't bother. Don't ask me, I'm not gonna tell you. Professional, high quality stuff. So I did about two pumps. Um, you can also use this as your concealer. You don't really need concealer. It's kind of like just foundation in a smaller bottle. Just use your foundation. So. Put it on the back of my hand and then you just kind of like pat it and then you just do like dots all over your face like that. But you want to like make sure you're placing them at like you map your face out with your foundation. Really get a lot on your face. All right, I'm gonna need more. So two more pumps probably. Nice, all right. And then what you'll want to do, um, you can use a brush if you want to, your hands whatever um just to kind of for the sake of i know that a lot of people like to use brushes we're going to use a brush so you just want to just tap it all over get it over the mouth too because we're going to put on a lipstick you want to put it in your ears because you know your every people see your ears and they don't want to see like pores or anything like that in your ears so as we're buffing this i'll tell you a story about Manic Kendra. Not a lot of people know about her. She keeps pretty quiet. She's soft spoken, even though um, she's really glamorous and fabulous and everything, and she's got a lot of fans. Um, fun fact is that she likes to camp, um, and she's actually looking for a boyfriend right now. So I've been trying to set her up with some of my makeup friends, but uh, you know, sometimes she can, that can be a little weird. Looks like we're doing a good job. All right, so mask-like, that's what we're going for. 
gonna do another setting spray. Don't worry about what it is. Really get it on there. Really spray. Don't be afraid. Get it on there. All right. Let it dry. All right, now we're going to move on to the contouring. And this is my favorite part. All right. So I like to use something that looks like this. You probably can't find it anywhere, remember that. Don't ask me, I won't tell you. So you wanna take a brush like this, whatever. Any brush will do, it doesn't really matter what you use. So you wanna get a lot of product on there because we're contouring. You want people to see that shit on your face. All right, so what you wanna do is when you wanna place your contour, you wanna suck in. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Just, you just gotta keep going, you gotta build it. And then you wanna, you know, bring the shadows back in your face so people actually know that you're a real person. You're not just like walking around. Moon face, they call that moon face, don't they? We're doing natural smoky eye with a nude lip. Yeah, Kendra really likes this look a lot. She uses a lot of it in her videos. So I kind of perfected the process on her face. Just, just shove the brush really in there and just like aggressively we don't have time photo shoot is almost ready she's gotta be on camera in 10 minutes all right so we're gonna now move on to another brush and do the nose we're gonna contour the nose so again just really use the same stuff that you use and put your brush in there put it in there and then to make your nose straight, just go down the sides like this. Do it like this too, like right around here, contour. I always find that some people don't like to bring out their nostrils, but it's actually pretty, pretty attractive when you outline them like this. Moving on to highlighter. This is what it looks like. Don't worry about it, you can't afford it, it's nowhere. I mean, People are just crazy about the highlight. They just really want a lot of it. So highlight it as possible. And don't be afraid, you know, just to bring it like all, you know, up here, anywhere you need some, some highlight. So now you wanna come down the nose like this, really make it straight. And then go ahead and just go right into the eye with highlight. I know that we're gonna do a smoky eye, but you'll see after I'm done how awesome it is gonna look when you highlight your eyes and then put the darker eyeshadow on top is really gonna be amazing you'll, you'll see all right we're done with highlight now so we are going to move on to blush and let's see just pick up whatever this is a blush don't worry about it so we're going to just get it right in there just really get it in there like don't be afraid so you can want that much product and you're gonna wanna like put the blush on. So you wanna do it in between the highlight and the bronzer. So you just wanna put it right in between that and bring it up here. So this is actually a like a retro, this is a retro look like from the 80s if you ever look back there. And the girls would bring the highlight up to their temples and Kendra loves it, so. We do that on her too. So you just want to bring that up like that. Remember, don't be afraid. If you can't, if you have to skip on product, then you shouldn't even be using it, so. All right. I say that's, that's good. That looks really pretty, actually. It's great. I love it. It always looks good on Kendra, and I never really got to do this look on myself. It looks great, all right. All right, so we're gonna move on to the eyes. Now this is the fun part. Uh, first, you're going to want to prime the eyes, of course, for your eyeshadow. So get whatever eye primer. Um, this is what I use, don't worry about it. So then you just like, you know, it's pretty easy, it's not hard, just put some on your eyeballs. I use like three different kinds of colors to do my eyebrows and I use four different kind of colors to do Kendra's. So because I'm not exactly Kendra's coloring, um, I am just going to do how I usually do my eyebrows. 
so I just used diff two different kinds of color. Um, I'm not gonna be able to really show you what colors that I use because everybody's different and I don't want you to have to use like the same color as I do, you're just gonna have to figure it out. So we're gonna do the eyebrows. So I usually start in the front here and I use an angle brush and I start on the bottom and I follow the bottom of the eyebrow and I go over. Now you want, I use a powder. Powders are, I find, are best. So you just wanna flick it. I just drank too much coffee today. That's why I'm all shaky. Really, you know, make it look natural because that's what we're going for. So you just wanna like, look like you're making little individual hairs. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up a little bit because usually when I'm on set with Kendra, I gotta get this stuff done in like, 10 minutes so okay oh see okay so I just messed up a little bit don't worry like just just rub it rub it off like that there see fixed all right now it is time to get to the eyes so this is smoky eyes super simple you shouldn't have to spend that much time on this honestly if you're spending more than like 10 minutes on your eye and you're doing something wrong all right so I'm gonna take a black gel pencil um, don't worry about what brand it is because you won't find it anywhere and you just literally like just want to just take it and just go over your whole eye. Whole, like that. And you want to bring it underneath because it's a smoky eye. And I'll just do it to the other side real quick, all right? Now Kendra really likes to have dark, a dark eye. It really brings out her, um, her green eyes that she has. And uh, I don't know, she just, she likes how fast it is. Um, she can usually can do it by herself if um, she she's by herself, like if she needs to, it's pretty easy. Uh, so we're gonna take a brush and we're just gonna smudge. Cause you wanna, this is a smoky eye. It's not a drawn on eye. We wanna just smoke it out. Bring it down too. I mean, a lot of people don't like to put makeup underneath their eye, but I don't know. I've just been finding it like, really attractive all right so now we got that that looks pretty good pretty proud of that so we're going to take a shadow um a powder matte preferably if you don't have a matte it's okay um do whatever you have just use whatever you had and just make sure you really get your brush in there you gotta pick up a lot of product because we got a lot of it's a smoky eye and then you just pat pat it on there just keep patting and just cover cover all of the black that we just put down. Cover it all up. Kendra needs to be on set in 10. All right. Really grungy. She loves the grungy look. Now take the um, brush that we use to um, blend the black and just blend the edges of powder that we put down and just go all around really blend it out and so now we're gonna um, take the gel liner again and we're gonna line the bottom because we got it it's gonna be a smoky eye so we need it dark we don't need ow <laughs> okay when you're tight lighting be careful but we're gonna tight line the top and it's easy look look how I'm doing it just like shove it right into your eye there. Don't be afraid. It's not gonna hurt, not a little bit. Wine break. All right, and then we're gonna apply some mascara. This is my favorite mascara and Kendra loves it too. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because you won't find it anywhere and you probably can't afford it. So don't worry about it. Now I'm not, I don't usually put fake eyelashes on Kendra because she has very voluminous long lashes. I really don't need to do it and I don't really need to do it on myself either. Apply fake eyelashes. So I'm just gonna put on a couple of coats of mascara. All right, so now that I got, eyes are done. Ready to go onto the lip, okay? We're gonna do a natural lip. Uh, but uh, the thing is, is that Kendra has very voluminous again 
voluminous eyes and voluminous lips and so I'm going to teach you guys how to do like an overdrawn lip a little bit so you can just fill it out because you can see that I have very thin lips. So I'm going to teach you how to do that professional makeup artist right here. Alright here you go. So what you want to do is get your lip liner. Make sure you got your elbow steady. I usually like to hold mine. And you're going to want to do this. Huh? Like, hey, be careful. You don't go fast. You don't have to go fast, okay? Right. I slightly overline. You see, a makeup artists can do this when their clients are talking. So that's why we're so good at it. She's gonna be kissing a lot of boys on set, so you gotta make sure it's on there. There. I'm gonna do the final lipstick. See, this is very natural. It's a very natural color. It's like, it reminds me of, um, you know, pink peonies in the springtime. That really light natural color. Really pretty. All right, now that we're all finished, I'm gonna take my hair down so you can see the final look. Now remember, real natural smoky eye. This is what Kendra always wants every time I do her makeup on set. So, as you can see, looks very nice like I just you know sometimes you just got to go back in time and grab stuff that you like and the 80s blush like just bringing it up to the temples just gives it that little something that nobody else has and that's what Kendra is she's what nobody else has all right everybody well thank you for tuning in and I hope you've liked this look uh, let me know if there's anything else that I could do that you would like to see and oh my gosh Kendra man Kendra oh Thank you so much for coming! I didn't even know you were gonna be here, see? So this is the look, actually, that I was basing our look today on. And, oh, Kendra, it's so good that you're here so that people could actually see. Like, we're like twins, practically, aren't we? The makeup is the same, as you can see. And oh, I just love working with her. She's just been so great. Well, thank you so much, Kendra, for coming by. And uh, we'll see you guys again later. Again, remember you subscribe. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.